Today's Port Swigger tutorial is entitled Bypassing Rate Limits via Race Conditions. To solve the lab, we must log in as Carlos and delete the user Carlos. We also get a list of potential passwords. Let's access the lab. Try to log in as Carlos by using a random password. I will use password. We get an error as expected. Go to burp proxy http history and search for the login request. Send this to burp repeater by pressing Ctrl R or right clicking and selecting send to repeater. In repeater let's send the login request again. We get the invalid username or password response. Send it again and again the same response. Once more. And this time the response changes. It looks like we have made too many incorrect attempts and we have to wait for one minute. If we now try to log in with another user, let's say test, we get the invalid username or password response. This means that the number of failed attempts per user must be stored on the server. Because of this, there might be a race window between when we try to log in and when the website increments the counter for the number of failed attempts associated with our user. Change the username back to Carlos. We will try to send multiple login requests at the same time to hopefully be able to have more than 3 login attempts before being blocked for another minute. For this we will use Turbo Intruder. To install the extension go to extensions B App Store, search for Turbo Intruder, select the extension and click install. Back in Repeater, select the value of the password, right click and select extensions, Turbo Intruder, send to Turbo Intruder. In the request window, observe that the value of the password parameter has been marked as a payload position with the percentage S placeholder. From the drop down menu, select the race single packet attack script. We will modify this so that each request uses one of the provided possible passwords for Carlos. For this, let's declare a variable passwords, an array that is going to contain all of the passwords. Also change the for loop to loop through all of the passwords. So for p in passwords, the queued login request must also contain the current password, so p. To get the password, go back to the browser. Copy the provided passwords, then right click anywhere on the page and select inspect. This opens the developer tools, go to the console tab. Here we will create a variable, call it pass, that contains the list of passwords, separating them by the new line character. Be sure to place the list of passwords inside thick characters to be able to process multi-line text. Dot split by backslash n. Call the pass variable and copy its value. Paste the new array inside our Turbo Intruder script. Finally, click attack. I was fortunate enough to get the correct password in the first try. It seems that, in my case, Carlos's password is 123456. As you can see, there have been more than 3 invalid username or password responses, which means we were able to take advantage of the race condition. If you don't get the password from your first try, Go back to the Turbo Intruder script, delete the passwords that are clearly wrong because they got the invalid username or password response and try the attack again. Do this until you get a 302 response. Finally, let's log in as Carlos. I get the too many incorrect login attempts error. It seems that I have to wait for 7 more seconds. Try the login again and this time we are in. Delete the user Carlos and the lab is solved. This is it for today. See you in the next one.